Well, this is me back in a, a fine early September day up in the northwest of Scotland again. So I've just arrived. Uh, it's about one o'clock, something like that. So I'm just gonna pop the tent up down in front of me. You can see the, the tent and sleeping bag and stuff lying out down there. Uh, so I'll get all that set up, get a wee bite to eat, and then uh, see if there's any fish about. Um, a couple of spinning rods, I've also taken a heavier rod in today. Uh, it's later in the year, so there's possibly more chance of something bigger appearing in, you know, rays or something like that. But, uh, I've never tried here at this time of year, um, but it's a good time of year elsewhere. So. And even if you don't catch much, you can hardly complain about the surroundings. Another wee bass here. One of the mysteries around here is why they don't seem to get much bigger than this. But, uh, keep trying, we'll see. Well, it's a little sea trout as you can see. Quite a lot of sea lice on it. I've pulled a few off, so you get a few more and take a few more off and then uh, just pop it back in the water here. Well, that's a first for me. Uh, a weaver fish. So, uh, I'll just cut them loose rather gingerly and uh, Hope we don't get too many more of them. Put some uh, potatoes on, it'll take a while. So, pop them in here. And more we on. That's the water boil now, so, uh, just give ourselves a Coffee, I think. So it's actually just about the first I've had all day. Just okay. so it back and act as a wee pot stand. I need to sort myself out with something a bit better than this, I think. Just have a frying pan to take with me. Ian, kind of my, my main fishing partner. Sometimes ask me why I come up here, because uh, you don't actually usually catch all that much. Um, and it's generally fairly small stuff, so one or two 
odd species and things like that. But mate, just have a look at the sunset. It pretty much tells you one of the main reasons for coming up here. It's just a, a lovely wild lonely spot. It's about to put the steak on the campfire. Uh, the potatoes are already soon. All set to a fine night. Just the sound of the surf behind me. Well, that's a steak on anyway. It's starting to get dark now. Yeah, it's got plenty of light just now. So I'll take the baked potatoes out in a few minutes. Steak I'm already in a minute or two as well. Put another wee coffee on. Got a nice slug of single malt sitting for me in the tent, just for when it gets dark. Just kind of bring off the evening quite nicely. I deliberately kept the fire fairly small. There's almost no wood round here at all. Almost nothing at all on the beach. So basically, if you do want anything, you got to take it in yourself. So, you certainly don't want to be running around with a big bonfire around here. Not unless you've got a fair number of surfs to haul it in for you. Besides, it's easy to keep the fire contained like this. It's just sitting on a rock here over damp ground. Well, it's about 20 past 8. Um, so, I'm just going to walk along the beach here. Um, the tide being out so far, I can probably uh, make it around the base of the cliffs rather than climb over the hills to get along to the main beach here. So we'll try and see uh, what's to happen to get, come back and climb over the hill again, I guess. Um, another gorgeous morning, as you can see. I've just uh, packed away the tent and all the kit. So, fully laden, but uh, we'll plow along the beach. And, and get breakfast sorted out when I start fishing, I think. But, uh, perfect morning, it's just cool but uh, very clear uh, it's going to be sunny for a wee while yet forecast to cloud over later I think but get along there and get a rod out get some bacon on I think Bacon and eggs on. Uh, probably not the best example of my cooking. You know, right down at the, the beach now, just on a, a rocky outcrop here. Some pretty heavy duty swells coming in at times. Not much seeing a fish so far. Get some breakfast, give it another wee while here, and then move along the beach a bit, I think. Uh, uh, breakfast is gone.
see a lot of lice in this one as well. So I'll get rid of them and then put her back. A bit better one this one. A decent wee scrap, but be a lot better off without these lice on it.